what's going on everybody? Oh, <laughs> got into encounter immediately. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Earthbound Zero series. Last part, folks. We mostly just did last minute preparations for uh, basically the last area of the game. And yeah, this, that was kind of all that really happened last time. Uh, like I said, I was, or like I said at the end of last part, level grinded a bit off camera. Um, I was just about to head out to fucking, what's it called, Mount Itoi, because, well, that's where we gotta go. Sadly, we have to traverse through it again, because the game is cruel like that, but I don't think it'll be that bad. Seeing as we got through it with Teddy and whatnot pretty quickly, I feel like we'll probably be fine? I don't know. Uh, just, just gotta wait and see, I guess. But at the very least, everyone is over level 30. In fact, Nintendo's nearly level 40, like, that's great. Um, now it's just a matter of so- No, damn it, I didn't want life up cream. <laughs> I wanted to rest. But, um... Now it's a matter of hopefully getting lucky enough to just get through it pretty quickly. We'll see, though. We'll see. It all starts with how many encounters we get before Mount Itoi. Which, so far, is looking like, maybe not a lot, but a decent amount. I gotta say, out of all the sprites they have in this game, the seagull is not their best sprite, admittedly. It's, it's, I don't know, man. It's just uh, a little lacking. A little lacking. Also, they have a lot more health than I thought they did. Damn. He started laughing. What? Okay. These seagulls are weird, man. At least they're not super strong. Do they give good experience, though, or...? Not, not insane experience, but, like, decent experience. I'll take it. Alright, let's move on. I hope we don't get too many more encounters. Alright, we've at least made it into the cave itself. It's a good start. Blue Starmen are not that bad, actually. Um, I need to be using PKB more often, to be honest, because it's pretty damn good. I never realized how good it was until I started level grinding and then tearing everything up, basically. It's like, yeah, I'm just stupid for not using it as much as I should have been using it. Oh, well, though. Like, we've done fine just with... We've just... We've done pretty fine without it. But now that I actually, you know, realize, like, oh yeah, I have this, I should use it. It's, uh, pretty useful. Oh, uh, one blue star, man, you're gonna... You are going to die, my friend, whether you like it or not. Ah, damn, of course he dodges on his attack, even though I probably wasn't gonna do too much, to be honest. Also, nice job setting up a shield that's not gonna do much for you. It's a great job. Sure did a lot for you, didn't it? Ah, damn it! Come on! I hate how the game sometimes is like, you know what? We'll we'll let you off with like, I don't know, one or one or two areas or one or two big stretches of land without encounters. Yeah, go ahead, you'll be good. And then other times it's like, oh, what? Two steps? Encounter. Two steps? Encounter. Three steps? No. But four steps? Encounter. It's like, fucking thanks. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh fuck, not Cerebrum. Cerebrum fucking sucks. I wonder if Beam works on Cerebrum. If it does, then we'll be in such a better spot. Please work. I'm begging you. Oh, and he dodged an intense attack, nice. Oh, there was no effect. That's bullshit and you know it. Uh, Let's try Freeze Omega, why not? Oh, right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay. We're good. We're fine. How much damage are we doing there? 45. That's not really that much. God, I hate Cerebrum. Cerebrum is... Without a doubt, my least favorite enemy we've encountered so far. It's kind of ridiculous how, uh, how unfun Cerebrum is to fight. Uh, 
Just that, that high defense pool is just the worst. Beam isn't that bad, but the defense... It's defense on top of, you know, the fact that it lowers your defense is just so annoying. And it has, like, a solid bit of health, too. Who are you hitting? 53 damage? Damn. Of course, he dodges an intense attack. Oh, come on. Can he just die already? Please? Ah, more defense down. Ah, yes. My favorites. Is that enough? Uh, it's fucking not. Oh, is this enough? Still not. Holy shit, man. Come on. Please. We get it. PK beam. We get it. You gonna die? Ah, uh, you fucking... Ah, uh, you dodged two attacks? You dodged three attacks! Holy fuck, I hate you. <laughs> uh... Cerebrum is actually the worst. Please. There we go. Good lord. I think what annoys me even more about Cerebrum is the simple fact that, like, they don't even give good, like, really good experience or anything. It's just, like, decent at best. Get yourself up there. Not sure if that's gonna be enough for Ana. Is it? Oh, it is. Okay. So then I should be good if I use uh, Life of Beta on Lloyd then. Yeah, alright. So what the fuck was this? Bomb? I'm not sure how useful that is, but I will... Give that to Lloyd if he even has space. Yeah, okay. We're fine. Now to find, you know, where we're trying to go. God damn. Oh, wonderful. What are we fighting? Blue star man. Okay, three blue star men. Not bad. As long as it's not Cerebrum, I don't really have too much of an issue with it, to be honest. Cerebrum is honest to God the only one I really have an issue with. Ugh. I don't know, man. It's... I feel like it's just more annoying, especially because of how every other enemy really fares up against you at this point. Like, they're gonna give you a decent fight, but they're not gonna whoop your fucking ass. Cerebrum doesn't whoop your ass, but it takes so long to... So long to take down, on top of just being unnecessarily bulky, like... Damn, I don't like you. Oh, uh, that was one fucking step. That was actually one step. Wow. Come on, game. Give me a break sometimes. <laughs> like, legit though, that was actually one step. That's kind of crazy, like, what the fuck? <laughs> 86 damage, damn. Oh shit, okay, okay. At least we were able to reflect that. So thank you, you at least made our job a lot easier. Fair bit of damage on Nintendo, so I gotta make sure I heal that up. At least we got another level up on Lloyd. It's great to see how Ana and Lloyd have become pretty neck and neck in terms of level, as opposed to having been like, you know, pretty fairly off. Uh, from each other's level. Uh, life up on yourself, please. There we go. Alright, let's move on. Uh, let's go in here, maybe? Oh, no, man. Actually, I think this is the right place. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Okay, no effect though, that's good. They don't work. They don't work. Three for three? Three for three. Damn it. Alright. Second attempt. Setting up a shield for jack shit. Okay. Didn't work. But we ran away. Okay, there we go. I think it's here? I don't know, man. Gotta say, it's pretty hard to tell where we're going, but... 
Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it. PK beam. Eh. Okay, come on. Kinda surprised Ninsen got a level there. Especially out of everyone. Ninsen was the last person I expected to get a level up there, but uh, that's great. We're getting really fucking close to level 40. Good lord. Nice to see Ana get a level up as well. Is Lloyd getting one too? No, he's, he's certainly not. Damn it. I, I was really hoping he would, but like, nah, it's, it's just... It, it wasn't looking likely. Uh, I think we might go up here? Admittedly, I'm not too sure where we're going anymore. <laughs> Let's try going left, maybe? I don't know. So, like, what I find funny is, like, we're not even anywhere near the end of Mount Itoi. Like, this this part isn't necessarily bad. It has its moments, you know, fucking Cerebrum and whatnot. But it's not that bad. Um, it's a little confusing, you know, in terms of, like, where do I go? Where, where, what, you know? That sort of stuff. But it's not, like super bad or anything of that sort. Maybe a little challenging. Uh, I, like, I get that's a bit of the point, but may maybe a bit excessive. Um, but oh boy, oh boy. It's weird because the more I think about it, the more I realize, like, wow, we're really not that far off from beating the game. Holy shit, Ana got fucking destroyed. Do I have super healing? Yes, I do. Come back, Ana. Please and thank you. I'm gonna guard real quick, just to just to make sure Ana gets brought back nice and healthy. All right, now we'll f finish the Starman off. That caught me very off guard. I was not paying attention, admittedly. Oh well, though. We're all good. We are all good, good, good. Ana got a new PSI power. <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's, I, I don't know. Um, I really don't know what the fuck it is. Um, ah, shit. Come on. This path looks about right, but I, I'm not too sure really. That's the problem with this area, is like, it's really hard to traverse. Especially if you don't want to look at- oh, 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 I got- oh, Does that just hit everyone? I'm curious. But, um, it's especially hard to traverse if you don't want to look at, like, a map or something. Holy shit. Ah, uh, well, damn it! He didn't he didn't finish him off, but still, yeah, that that's a strong ass move, though. Good lord, might be a bit excessive on the PP usage, but whatever. This thing got a new power as well. Ah, for fuck's sake! I know where I am now. I'm just gonna look at a map because this is this is a bit much. <laughs> Oh boy. So on my way to to the right path, guess guess who I fucking encountered? Oh, thank God I managed to run away. I was about to say, I think I've got my shit together now. I believe it's right over here. Basically takes us to a long ass path. And then from like right there, the, the little entrance we just saw there, the little Exit or door opening, whatever. I guess opening is the it's the best word because we're in a, a cave or whatever. But there is uh, our place of interest. That's where we're going to get to where we need to go. I'm kind of surprised that I managed to somehow end up at everywhere else but the right place. But oh well, what can you do? I guess. Okay, just one more to go. Come on. We are close as hell at this point. Let's make it easier for us and uh, die, why don't you? 
Damn, okay, that was a bit excessive. That was, that was just unnecessary, Jesus. Level 33 though, not bad. Strength by 2, Force by 1, HP by 10, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna heal up Ana though now that I think about it. Whoopsie. Uh, is that enough? Should be, yeah. Alright. Damn it! I was about to say we're just about there. Come on, and it's a damn Cerebrum too. Alright, just run. No reason to fight Cerebrum, really. No good reason, I should say. Didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Not bad. Now we should be out. Once we go through here... Come on! Perfect! So now we gotta climb up. Uh, it's in my personal interest to go back to that house I was at. Because there we can heal and all that good stuff. So where the fuck is it at? Wait, wait, oh shit! I guess I- ah, more Cerebrum, yes, my favorite! I guess I passed the right place? I- I don't know. This place is a little weird to traverse. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of lefts and rights, it's it's just a weird one to be honest. There we go. Ah, come on! Rock oils. I don't remember how strong these guys are, but we'll see in a second, I guess. Um, they're, they're decently strong, that's for certain. Oh shit. 23 damage. That's not crazy good, but still. Ah, shit. 78 damage on Ana. Well, that's annoying. Um. This should be enough to take down the first one? Oh, shit. Come on. Force Beam just, oh my god, I hate the fact that it uses up PP despite, you know, the enemy not even being there. Like, that's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Yep, I was mistaken. Oh, come on! And it's fucking Cerebrum. Yeah, 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 you stupid defense down. We get it. We fucking get it. Come on, man. Nothing. There we go. Get to that damn house, please. <laughs> oh, why? Two fucking steps from it. Mega Borg? What the fuck is a Mega Borg? I guess we'll see. Uh, but just in case they're really dangerous, Ana, just be very careful. Lloyd, I kind of want you to use one of your weapons, just in case. Actually, use a bomb. See how that goes. Megaborg doesn't seem to have crazy defense at the very least. PK Beam? Oh shit, who are you attacking? Ninten, of course, okay. 30 damage, not crazy. 59 damage to super energy is nice. Alright, we gotta make sure to take down Megaborg, like, ASAP. Come on. 20, oh shit. Finish him off, please. There you go, all right. Now what I want to do real quick before uh, we take down super energy is make sure I heal up, uh, heal up Lloyd. Cause Lord knows this thing's probably gonna explode. And when it does, it's probably gonna do a lot of damage. So be very careful. How much damage? 62, damn. Okay, we're fine though. Especially because the healing house is like literally right here. We will be perfectly fine. Okay. I'm kind of surprised we hadn't encountered those guys before. 
Uh, then again, when we came here earlier, we got, like, actually no encounters. Like, it was pretty surprising, but okay. Oh, nice. Just heals us just like that. What a great guy. Alright. But, uh, now that we finally made the, the the trek back through Mount Itoy, at least the caves part, I suppose. <sighs> now all that's left is to, well... Continue on from here, really. So anyway, folks, if you have enjoyed this part of my Earthbound Zero series, of course, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye.